Hello, my name is Pavel and welcome back to my channel. Last week I did not make a movie video and this week I am paying for it. But before I speak on what we're talking about today, we need to go back a year. A year ago I made a video about a movie called Winnie the Pooh. Wait, Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey. Yes, that's what it's called. Basically, if you do not know, then I will explain it to you. But if you know, you know. Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey is about Winnie the Pooh killing people. And on the surface, that sounds extremely interesting. You're like, okay, childhood characters that I'm familiar with killing people okay i'm into that and i was into that too until i watched the trailer and realized that this is going to be hot shit so in the first movie we see winnie the pooh and piglet terrorize um christopher robin because christopher robin has just forgotten about them he's grown up and he's just moved on to bigger and better things you know he's an adult now and um winnie the pooh is just like yo i'm not having this and he just goes and uh, kills uh, him and a lot of other people in the most generic basic way and it looks awful the costumes were awful and just the entire movie was so painful to get through like it honestly felt like they were just adding things just to kind of stretch it out to that like 90 minute mark it was painful it sucked i made two videos about that movie and you know what we're back somehow I do not know how this has happened but Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 has been made as of recording right now it's the 27th of March this movie is actually released but I can't watch it because why the fuck in Ireland in the middle of nowhere would they be showing Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey in the cinema that's not happening today I'm actually going to be talking about the movie I'm going to be watching the trailer reacting to it and there are a few clips uh, from the movie that I'm going to be watching and probably cringing at and holding my head in my hands because I know it's going to be painful o unless I'm completely wrong and this movie is actually going to be surprisingly good but I do not believe that but alongside that, this director who created Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey number one has created a universe called the Childhood Nightmares universe or the like the Pooh-niverse or something along those lines where it's going to be like six more of these movies and honestly I'm going to talk about that after I watch the trailer. It's going to be painful. I do not know how this movie has been. Uh, I don't know how this movie was made but I could be wrong. This movie could actually be surprisingly good but my hopes are so low because in the first movie I remember watching it and you know whenever you're just presented with the slasher you're like surely this isn't like difficult to uh, like have fun with because you have like childhood characters you have Winnie the Pooh characters that you know they're killing people that should be exciting but no it, it was so slow and so painful and I do not know how you could mess up a movie that badly so that's why my hopes are so low for this second movie and you know I'm probably gonna make a separate video where I actually watch the movie whenever it comes to streaming but as of now we just have to watch some clips trailers and then talk about this fucking universe of these movies oh my god so the only thing left to do is to actually watch the trailer for winnie the pooh blood and honey 2 and watch some clips so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in an earphone and we're gonna watch yay yeah <laughs> okay let's go i i hope this is gonna be better i really hope so i'm going to take you back i'm guessing that's christopher robin feel all weight drift away Okay. Hey, hey, this already looks good. Bad. What? <laughs> Do you recall anything from the session? Focus. Just to state, I know nothing what about this. Happening? Nothing at all. This was Why the day this look quite Billy good? was taken. Okay, it doesn't look good, but it looked a lot better if you watch it. Wait, pause. Pause. Okay, one second. I just have to... Okay, in the first movie, Winnie the Pooh looked ridiculous. It literally looked like they went to the local shop. They just got, like, the worst mask ever. Or they went on Amazon and looked up, like, Winnie the Pooh mask. Bought it for, like, five euro and put it on their face. And were like, hey, let's make a horror movie. But Winnie the Pooh there looks surprisingly good. And that makes me question, how the fuck did they get funding for this? How did they... How, anyway, play. I, I'll, I'll talk about it after. Okay, maybe. This is the earth itself. Oh, they have Tigger. Tiggers here, okay. The tail looked a bit stupid, but the cinematography and everything looks quite good. <laughs> Just weird. There's no certain similarities to the Hundred Acre Massacre. Okay. Is he, does he look good? I could, okay, I can't tell. Tell me everything you saw, please. Is that? I knew. This day would come. This is quite a long trailer. Okay, uh, Woody the Pooh looks a bit skinny. He feels it. It looks like he lost a little bit of weight. He's been a uh, he's been on, in the gym. Okay, 
I... The eyes look good. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Is there gonna be like a little clip after this part of the trailer? Okay, coming soon. Okay, pause, 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 pause. Okay, I, they've, it's, it's obviously a little bit better than the first movie. In what ways? Well, it looks a little bit more uh, like as if there's a bit more gore. We saw somebody's head actually get snapped off. I don't remember all the details from the first movie, so I can't say, like I can't compare like the violence and the gore. But as a mask, I think his face looked better. As I said, he looks like he's like gotten very skinny somehow. And he looks like the eyes, like there's obviously a lot more detail here, which is great. So maybe the funding has increased. We have Tigger, which he looked a bit, um, I don't know, questionable, I suppose. Like, Tigger himself looked ridiculous. And you know what? My hopes were like down here, but now my hopes are like, a little bit raised, but I'm not gonna say that this looks good. This looks at the same level as the Mickey Mickey Mouse horror movie that I watched and made a video about, like, ish, there. Like, to make this movie good, I feel like we need gore and we need, like, an engaging storyline that, that's not just kind of like, oh, I went to my therapist and I'm reflecting on the fact that, like, I had a difficult childhood and all this generic shit. Like, we just kind of need Winnie the Pooh and all of his fucking friends to find Christopher Robin when he's camping or something along those lines. That's Let's make it super generic. Let's set it in a forest, in a cabin. Let's make it even more generic. Generic is fine if you just have fun with it and you're like really into it, right? So we have Christopher Robin, he's in the woods, he's with a few friends and he's like just talking about his childhood and he's like, oh yeah, I forgot about Winnie the Pooh, whom? And maybe the fact that he's thought about him brings Winnie the Pooh back into the world, right? Then Winnie the Pooh is like, it's like an um, evil dead, you know, like the thing is like going through all the woods and Winnie the Pooh somehow ends up in the forest. So kind of like Friday the 13th, so we're gonna have a Christopher Robin and all of his friends are in the woods and all of these characters from Winnie the Pooh's world with Tigger, Piglet, Winnie, all of them are just fucking chasing everyone down and they're killing them in the most gruesome way. Let's go Terrifier style. Let's rip off everything on their body and just make it disgusting and then that would be a good movie. But there are a few clips here. Let's watch the first clip. Wait, 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 pause, 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 pause. But holy fuck, all right. Um, so the... The thing with the first movie was that it looked extremely grey, it looked so boring, it looks like they just did not like colour grey, nothing, it just looked like boring, grey. There, the movie looks a little bit better, it looks kind of like more vibrant, the cinematography is a little bit better, it just looks a little bit better. But the one thing that does not look good at all is Tigger, he looks so fucking stupid. So the question that I have is, is it actually an entity of Tigger, like he's like a supernatural, not supernatural, but he's like an actual monster, or is it like a killer with a Tigger mask on his face that's kind of like going around killing people? I hope it's the first that he's like this monster that has like these supernatural powers or teleportation powers as it seems from this trailer. Anyway, one more clip here to watch. It is 30 seconds, so um, let's see how that goes. Let's see, I don't know, I, I hope. I, let's see, let's see. I hate like the way these characters talk. Better watch where you're going, or any, mini miny mo. What are you doing? Let's. I think in the first movie, Winnie did not speak. Let's just leave it at that. Why are these characters speaking? We do not need to hear them speak because that takes away from the quality of the movie. Just fucking see, see that girl on the floor. Keep killing her. Stop talking. Shut the fuck up and just kill her. That sounds insane, out of context, but you know what I mean. Like, but there's like, oh, you. Let's cut it. And that tail, maybe let's do something different because it looks like fucking... <laughs> it looks so stupid. Anyway, okay. So this is the thing that I was on about here. This is the Twisted Childhood Universe, aka Pooniverse. I hope this is a joke because... I, I don't know, let's walk through it and then I will tell you my opinions on it. So we have Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, number one. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, number two. Bambi, The Reckoning. Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare. Pinocchio Unstrung, which is our universe. Uh, Monsters Assemble, I hope that that thing at the bottom is a piss take. And all of this is apparently meant to be released in 2025, until 2025. So this year, are we gonna get Bambi, The Reckoning, and then next year, Peter Pan's Neverland Nightmare, then Pio Pinocchio Unstrung? 
I have no idea. But the reason I feel like this is a stupid idea is because, okay, so you hear of Winnie the Pooh as uh, like a killer. You're like, okay, that's interesting. And then the movies aren't good. How many times can you release the same thing before it becomes extremely boring? Because, for example, in Marvel movies, like there's this like whole Marvel fatigue at the moment because people are like, okay, how many times can you spin the same story, produce the same story without it getting boring? And people are getting tired of these movies that have incredibly high budgets, millions and millions and millions of dollars. These movies probably do not have high budgets at all. They probably have extremely low budgets. So surely that's gonna like even take away from that. Let's just say Winnie the Pooh Blood and Honey 2 is actually fun. Okay, whatever, it's gonna be a fun movie, maybe. I don't have high hopes, but it could be. But then we're just gonna get the same thing, the same thing, the same thing. And I bet you it's gonna be the same kind of format where it's like these characters are like finding their childhood friends or going to something like childhood, they're killing their like owners. Which the thing I want, I'm curious about is Bambi or Pinocchio. Pinocchio sounds good because it's like puppets, whatever. But this just seems really fun. Like too much of this is just gonna get very, you're like, oh, okay, we have another Twisted Childhood Universe movie. I'm just curious to see, will that become very draining for the audience? I could be entirely wrong. This could be the most incredible franchise of movies ever. It could be something like Saw, Final Destination. That's kind of like, not the most incredible movies, but they're kind of like staples in horror. It could be like that, but I, I, I don't know. This just seems ridiculous. And then there's this poster. The, I, I don't know if these are official posters, but I saw this on Twitter and I believe they are real. They look, I don't know. I just... And I really need to be crystal clear that all my opinions are based from the first movie that I did not enjoy. Let's say the second movie is great. Maybe I'm going to have more hopes for um, the next three movies, but I don't know. I feel like this is just a crazy idea. I do not know how this was made. How did they make this when the first movie did not do well? When people, I love everybody. I never heard of anybody being like, hey, it's actually quite good. Everybody that made a video about it. Everybody that spoke about the movie was like, this sucks. So how the fuck? Maybe it's just an idea. Maybe it's just kind of like a fantasy. I do not know, but time will tell. And I'm gonna try and make a video on Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey 2 whenever it's actually streaming, because I'm weirdly excited because I just, I just, I wanna give it a chance maybe. I don't know. But if it's anything like the fucking first movie, then you'll hear me complaining about it. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>